August 31, 2023. Ukraine war, approximately nine years and seven months into the invasion of Crimea. Day 554 of Special Putin's operations. Big picture. Ukraine appears to have attacked Pskov again tonight. We would have aimed for the Kremlin, sometime around 7.30 a.m. when it absolutely inconveniences everyone. Putin's duped military made multiple attacks south of Bakhmut. Displaced residents of eastern Kharkiv are straining charities and humanitarian groups in Kharkiv. Ukraine needs a refill of combat medical supplies. Dnieper line. No changes on control of territory reported and no ground combat reported. The Kremlin saw fit to fire 346 shells into the civilian structures on the right bank of the Dnieper in the last day. Zaporizhia front. No line changes reported by either side. Both sides claiming attacks made around Robotyne, suggesting heavy ground combat is ongoing. A Kremlin-leaning source reports Ukraine made an attack outside Pryatny east of the Morky Yoli. That same source reports Ukraine made a two-square-kilometer gain at the town of Shevchenko, Donetsk Oblast, east of the Morky Yoli, just southwest of Vyuladar. Deep state maps are showing the Kremlin forces made a small advance here as well, suggesting recent or ongoing contest. Kremlin bombing into the rear of Ukraine's positions was notably heavy at the Morky Yoli and around the bend at Vyuladar. East Front, Donetsk. If you guessed that a Kremlin attack was repulsed at Marienka, you'd be wrong, because the Kremlin was repulsed twice at Marienka in the last day. At the village of Shumy just northwest of Horlivka, the Kremlin's 269th Rifle Battalion made an attempt to steal Ukrainian lands. They were repulsed by the combined forces of the 24th Mechanized Brigade and the Free Russia Regiment. Shelling here, while of average heavy volume, appeared disconnected from any attacks. Bakhmut area. At the town of Kurdyamivka the Kremlin the Kremlin's 56th Rifle Brigade made two more attempts to push Ukrainian troops out of their hold on the tree line just east of the canal. They were stopped by units of the Kastas Kalinuski Regiment of Belarusian Volunteers and the Ukrainian 28th Mechanized Brigade. In the town of Klishchivka, more Kremlin invaders were repulsed in two attacks, apparently being stopped by a counterfrontal Ukrainian attack by elements of the Rage Brigade. Shelling here was lighter than normal, and bombing appeared to focus on areas where attacks were ongoing. Oskil Border Front more Kremlin attacks at Bilohorivka, this time out of the northeast, repulsed by the 81st Airmobile Brigade. The Kremlin has been advancing their thefts in the Serebryansk forest recently, led by Storm Z, mercenary and prisoner units. More attacks at Novoyhorivka Luhask by the Kremlin, this time on the south side of the village. Ukraine is not reporting any attacks around Sinkivka, but at least one Kremlin source does. Northern border. Drones were found flying into Russian bases and facilities hundreds of miles from Ukraine. Shelling into Kharkiv Arblast was heavy in groups, irregularly spaced. Shelling in Sumy appeared to focus around the city of Sumy. There was shelling at Semenivka in Chernihiv. Black Sea. As last report the Kremlin has four Russian warships on patrol, none of them with missile capability. Occupied Crimea is facing growing shortages of water and energy. Ukraine world related. Serbia has donated 14 trucks of humanitarian aid for Kherson. There is no such thing as sunk cost in tactical choices. Only good or bad choices from where you are. Wagner commanders and Igor Gherkin have announced this week that Russia is losing. We aim to bring more. Like and subscribe.